The law of awareness, becoming more and more aware. When we're meditating, when you start out meditating, as I did some time ago, it was a very new concept to me. I didn't have much information about it at all. Now, I knew, a little, I knew quite a bit about prayer, but the thought of meditating, mm, that's something new. And when I started to meditate, I was advised by a very wise person to meditate in short increments of time, short spans of time, because it was explained to me that your greatest challenge would be attention, focusing your attention, because your mind will start to just run wild. You'll be thinking about everything, the things you have to do, what you got to do at work, what projects that you catch up on, what, you know, you got to stop at the grocery store, you got to pay this bill, you got to do all these things on your mind, all the things you have to do. And that's what you're going to think about. Is that meditating? Mm -mm. So what I started to do was to learn to focus. And I found out one very key step that I was missing from the start was in my meditation process, I was never totally relaxed. The more I learned to get control of my body and to focus my attention on relaxing my body, the more I, would, I was able to get into the flow of the meditation process. So re total relaxation was the first step for me, learning how to be totally relaxed. And after that, my, my periods and duration of time began to increase as I was able to focus and meditate a little longer. I started out with 24 minutes of meditation, med meditation time. I want to be able to meditate for a duration of time of 24 minutes. And once I accomplished this, I started to relax more and more and more. Then I was able to focus my attention on one thing at a time. I became very focused and I was able to channel all of my thoughts on one central thing. And that led me to be able to, as of now, meditate for one full hour. Sometimes I go for an hour and 15 to 20 minutes. That's only because the meditation is so great. And once you get control of this process and learn how to train your mind to focus your attention, get totally relaxed, sometimes you lose track of time. That's what I do. I lose track of time. And I said, whoa, I'm 15 minutes over. I'm 20 minutes over. Okay, great. <laughs> it was a great experience. So mind training, training your mind, learning to focus your attention on one thing at a time. And it starts with very simply learning how to focus your attention on each area of your body. I started with it simply doing this. I would say to myself, my scalp is relaxed. My forehead is relaxed. My eyelids are relaxed. My cheekbone area is relaxed. My lips are relaxed. My neck is relaxed. And I will go all the way down to the tip of my toes. My back, my shoulders, my abdomen, my lower back, my upper back, my arms, my legs, my knees, my lower legs, mm -hmm. my heels, my feet, and my toes. Once I was able to get my attention focused on each area and zone of my body becoming relaxed, I was able to proceed in a controlled, focused manner with my attention. Meditation, your superpower. Meditation, one's commitment to focus one's attention. I would suggest to anyone, show me the results of your meditation, and I will show you the ability and your commitment to focus your attention. Yes, meditation is your superpower, but once you learn how to focus your attention, the more successful you're going to be and the more you're going to be rewarded from your meditation session. Learning to train your mind to focus your attention. Now, here's a tip that you can use, a little exercise to learn to just something to do to start training your mind to focus your attention. Imagine this. 
Before going to bed tonight, you sit on the side of your bed. This will only take about one or two minutes. Sit on the side of your bed and trace each one of your steps back to the beginning of the day when you first got out of bed. It's not easy, but once you can train your mind to focus on each step, each thing that you did from the point that you were sitting on the side of your bed back to the morning time when you were getting out of bed, you're going to find it be very interesting. Here's another exercise you can do to train your mind to become more focused with your attention and your awareness. Imagine going to the mall or the grocery store or to any place where there's lots of people. And for an example, you, you say to yourself, once you go to the mall and make your visit and you get back home and just sit down very quietly and ask yourself, how many individuals did I see with wearing a suit and tie? And where were they located? Allow your mind to go back and review every person that you saw in the mall on your visit that was wearing a shirt and tie. Where were they located in the mall? When you go to the grocery store, when you return home, you sit down and let your mind review that experience, that shopping trip at the grocery store, and discover how many people did you see wearing the color blue and where were they located in the grocery store? You're going to determine how aware you are. What is your awareness level like? Are you aware? Can you develop a greater sense of awareness, a heightened sense of awareness by becoming more focused, allowing your attention, your awareness to become more focused? Meredith, do you have any thoughts on that? No, I think you've given me some homework. I'm thinking about <laughs> sitting on Very the edge of bed tonight and going through those steps. Um, I think focus um, and just being in the stillness and not letting your mind wander is the hardest thing I'm I'm overcoming in like my meditation practice. So I'm just soaking in everything you're saying. I don't have anything to add. Great. Glad to be of help. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's some of the benefits of meditating. It removes blockages and resistance. It provides insight, inventions, concepts, solutions, and knowledge. It provides ideas, problem solving, stress relief, relaxation, peace, and calmness. And you're able to connect with the source and creator of all seeing, all knowing power. Your divine higher self, the real you, and I are God. We're one. How could we not be? You are created in my image and likeness. Wow. Yes. Meditation. That is our superpower. Here's an example of someone who's meditating. Now look at that very closely because she's very relaxed. You can see she's very focused. And she's probably doing guided meditation. Guided meditation is when you're listening to a program or an audio program that guides you through the meditation session. You can see she has on her headphones and the, and the headphones are hooked to a cell phone, so I'm sure that's guided meditation. But look at her posture there, how relaxed she is. Now, when I'm doing my meditation, I sit in a chair. Matter of fact, the same chair I'm sitting in right now. Yes, that's the most effective posture for me, sitting in a chair, very relaxed. The room is totally quiet and still. And I usually start at 5 o'clock in the morning, 5 a.m., There are many different ways of meditating. Now, this is very interesting. Take a very good look at this picture. Another thing that helped me along the path of learning how to meditate personally, when I first started, there's a park near my home where I go and walk. I spend a lot of time out in the forest walking and thinking. Being out in nature is so therapeutic and it's so very good for you emotionally and you know, making you aware and more conscious about the world around you. There's a special area in the park that I would go and look at because the trees were so beautiful. And to help my body and to help me settle down and relax, 
I would replay, revisit with that image in my mind that I saw and I experienced in the forest. Now, this picture right here, look at all of the details in this picture. Look at the lake, all of the trees around the edge of the lake, the mountains in the far off distance, the blue sky. Once you capture, your eyes are like the lens of a camera, but your brain is the database. It's the hardware of the camera. As you're capturing this image in your mind, you can replay it at will at any time, anywhere. When you're meditating, when you need to really focus your attention and relax, allow your mind to pull up and revisit this image that we're looking at right now. Keep this image in your mind. It is a beautiful, beautiful scene of nature. It is just wonderful. It is so peaceful and calm there in the forest, a lake in the forest, surrounded by all of the greenery, the trees, the shrubbery, the beautiful mountains, the beautiful blue sky. Keep this picture in your mind. Revisit this picture over and over and over again to help you focus. Or I say anytime that you're stressed, if your day is not going like you want it to, temporarily, I hope, just refocus yourself. Recalibrate yourself with this beautiful image of nature. It will be a great help to you. Meditate. Here is a person who's meditating in their private office. They may work from home or in their own business. They may be gathering solutions or ideas for a new project, problem solving, analyzing the work that needs to be done and completed on this day. They are meditating. They are uh, connecting to a higher source of knowledge and information. They're gaining wisdom by meditating. New mindset brings about new results. We're learning to train our mind. Learning that, you know, we create our outer world from our inner world. Our inner world creates our outer world. We're learning to have a different perception of life and ideas and new thought processes. We're gathering and gaining and growing a new and developing a new mindset that's going to produce new and different results. As above and so below, this is the first law of the universe. As it is on earth, so it is in heaven. First things first. This is this is law, law of the universe. As it is above. So we know, which really means in layman terms, there are certain principles that are already instituted. If we learn them and follow them and tap into them, it's amazing what we can achieve in this journey we call life. If we just listen and be open to new information, 